The internet is a perfect melting pot, a place for millions of different ideas to form and flourish. While it would be nice if these ideas were like always fun and creative and positive to the greater world at large, um, unfortunately, sometimes people are, are equally drawn to the rotten cesspools of humanity just as much as they're drawn to love and happiness. And as often as people are drawn to the very real horrors of the world, sometimes they are also drawn to theorizing horrors of their own. As much as the internet is a place for brilliant ideas to form, the internet is also a perfect breeding ground for conspiracy theories to form, grow, and fester. From things like Pizzagate to the moon landing was faked, the collective hind mind can latch onto the idea and spark the imagination of innumerable amount of people until the lines between spooky fiction and horrific reality begin to blur. Hey there, I'm here to interrupt your regularly scheduled entertainment, and today we're going to talk about Kate Yup and the many sinister conspiracy theories that spawned from her, uh, recently revived mukbang channel. A conspiracy theory is a speculation based upon a supposed secret and often notorious plot that is not supposed to be known by the general public. Conspiracy theories are often formed when incomplete information leaks out to the general populace, but they can also be readily formed in any number of different ways. Like someone making an anonymous post in jest or even a group of people just not liking someone else. Conspiracy theories are often the internet equivalent of the high school rumor mill, but they can very easily turn extremely dangerous if implemented into the minds of the wrong people. From my earlier example, Pizzagate was a widely known conspiracy theory in 2016 that alleged that the then US presidential candidate Hillary Clinton was a part of a child sex trafficking ring and one of the base of operations to said organization was a local pizzeria in Washington DC. This conspiracy led to an armed assailant, no doubt feeling the part of a vigilante, Walking into the pizzeria, armed with an AR-15, a handgun, shotgun, switchblade, you know, armed to the teeth, so to speak. There, the man then took it upon himself to investigate and try to find this alleged sex trafficking ring and opened fire within the building. Luckily for everyone inside, he only managed to get three shots off and no one was injured before he was arrested. It is through this Pizzagate situation that we can see that people can be drawn to their own, sometimes very extreme, conclusions about situations when presented with incomplete or even fake evidence. And that is how we find ourselves now to the ASMR mukbang YouTuber, Kate Yup. Kate Yup started her channel on March 11th, 2018, and originally used what appeared to be a stock photo of a woman eating fries and holding a chicken or fish sandwich. Like other YouTubers a part of the mukbang genre, her public videos featured her eating an exorbitant amount of food. Her channel in specific specialized in a large amount of raw seafood. Conspiracies notwithstanding, many people pointed out that this, this amount of raw seafood could lead to various long-term health issues, including, but not limited to, mercury poisoning. Similarly to the popular mukbang YouTuber Zach Choi, Kate Yup also crossbred her videos for ASMR audience consumption. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response and is a sensation that people are able to experience through certain noises. Often referred to as a brain massage, it is characterized by a relaxed or even sedative-like feeling. While some people like the sounds of whispering and gentle scraping on different surfaces and popping bubble wrap, ASMR mukbang YouTubers, as you can imagine, is a specific genre in which the noise that people like are just eating different textured foods. While Kate Yup's videos weren't nearly as cinematically put together as Zach's current videos, when you compare his older videos to Kate's videos, they seem to be fairly similar production quality, specifically the unimpressive lighting. Naturally, as Zach continued to make and upload content, he evolved, upgraded, and changed his setup in order to produce beautiful and almost artful videos. Unlike Zach Choi, though, Kate's videos contained content that some people deemed a little strange. 
And it was these odd little details about her content that started the whirlwind of progressively more and more outlandish conspiracies surrounding her and her videos. One of the first things to strike people's interest after a couple of videos, in addition to how quickly she ate her food, was that Kate never showed her entire face. Primarily, her videos focused on her mouth down, and often she is seen with a blindfold or some sort of face covering to hide her eyes and sometimes even her nose. This was viewed as incredibly strange by baffled onlookers because the world of influencers has given people a certain amount of entitlement in regards to how much they are allowed to know about a person. The parasocial relation between the viewer and the content creator falsely gives many people the impression that they already know or should know more about a person online than what is sometimes actually reasonable. We see this very frequently with creators like Corpse Husband, who people very often try to dox and leak photos of his real face just because they feel entitled to know what he looks like. This was also the case with Kate Yup. With not letting her audience get to see her full face, uh, this began to plant the seed of a number of theories. Theories range from pretty petty thoughts like, oh my god, is she ugly, to curious, is she a recognizable celebrity, and the most extreme cases being, is she a victim of abduction? It is with this conspiracy of Kate potentially being held hostage that sparked many people to try to figure out what she looked like and where she was located. Some sects of these internet sleuths wanted to disprove that she was fine, and the other side of the investigation wanted to rescue her from this alleged danger. Some people went as far as sending her channel information to the FBI, claiming that there were similarities between Kate and a missing teenager named Carly Gousset, who had gone missing in California in 2018. This would be a false lead, as it turns out, as Kate had been posting months prior to Carly's disappearance in October. Other examples of people that, you know, the audience in general thought that Kate yep, could be was some sort of, like, professional speed eater and even a professional, like, women's MMA fighter. Um, both of which turned out to be completely unfounded claims because Kate Yup has a tattoo on her wrist and neither of these people that everybody else thought that she was had the same tattoo. And since there was no evidence that she was the missing teenager, the speed eater, or the MMA fighter, people were still very convinced that Kate was in danger and began to try to cross-reference logos on cookware featured in her videos to try to hunt down uh, where she was and even brought up like some old deleted videos from her channel to try to uncover clues. She later admitted that she lived in Belgium because people just were obsessed with trying to find her, but her location became a bit of a background thought due to some of the weird and twisted nature of at least one of the recovered deleted videos from her account. While the public videos on her channel were just of her eating because she's a mukbang channel, one of the deleted videos that people found was a very strange and kind of twisted experiment, in my opinion, in which she filled a dead fish with Mentos and then filled it with Coke in an attempt to make it explode. The poor lighting and, frankly, morbid nature of this experiment left many people, myself included, feeling rather uneasy, and this feeling of easiness led to more people believing the conspiracies that something was intensely wrong with Kate's life. The unnerving feeling people got while watching her video content might have also influenced people into hearing other voices and other concerning noises within her videos. Things like slamming doors, a voice just telling her to eat, and more. <laughs> Additionally, to the outright noises of the video, she would also include subtitles to highlight some of the food she was eating or how she felt about the food itself. People would point out the oddity of some of the words containing capital letters at random, not following regular English grammar rules, and led some people to point out that these capital letters spelled hidden messages like SOS and HELP. Although the thing with, like, the English grammar rules can be easily, like, looked over due to the fact that she's not a native English speaker. People would also point out the bruising that she would sometimes have on her arms, thinking that this was evidence of her being mistreated. Kate would counter most of these concerns in the comments, stating, once again, that she was fine. Some of her rebuttals would include that she has a skin condition that causes sun bruising, that she got cold sores around her mouth, and that she was completely alone in her home while eating, and that she just wore the mask to help protect her privacy. Which, in fairness, with how obsessive people are about trying to uncover who she is, she is completely justified in wanting to have a bit of privacy to herself. Her concerning videos would escalate the more comments engaged with her content, insisting that she was in danger, with one now deleted video showing her losing a couple of teeth while eating and a toothbrush tied to the backside of her arm.
alluding that she might have been binging and purging. Her losing teeth within her video could bolster this idea of her having an eating disorder, but it could just also mean that she didn't have proper access to a dentist or just didn't take care of her teeth well enough. Now you might be thinking about what about the toothbrush tied to the backside of her arm? Well, my theory to that is if so many people are giving you attention for weird and kind of dark things going on in your videos, like, oh my god, could you be kidnapped? Or, oh my god, do you have an eating disorder? You're going to do things for the views, honestly. So, do I believe that she has an eating disorder? It's possible. However, do I also believe that it's possible that she just did it to get the attention? Yes. And that's the thing, without properly knowing who Kate is as a person, without the proper information, we could never really know. Many people, myself included, frankly, believe that Kate never really meant for her channel to garner this type of attention. Many people who do not experience the brain massage type of sensation that ASMR can produce tend to think that ASMR type content is already a little creepy. Coupled with her lackluster lighting and the overall poor video quality, uh, it can amplify the uneasing feeling of just sitting and listening to someone smack their lips in silence. I believe that Kate is just a normal person wanting to make ASMR mukbang content, but might have been feeling kind of insecure about her appearance or wanted the content to be more focused on what she was eating as opposed to who she was as a person. Many incidences within her videos are pretty easily explained, like the weird noises people interpret as a voice telling her to eat faster and things like that are most likely Kate's own eating noises and a phenomenon called suggestibility, which is when people are more likely to hear something if there's a subtitle to go along with the noise, even if that noise is not what the subtitle actually says. Another explanation for things like the noises of doors slamming and inaudible voices is that Kate could just potentially live in an apartment complex with very thin walls and have obnoxious neighbors. Her pausing to look behind her or stir off into space when noises happen could just be her looking at her windows or something else similarly, assuming the train of logic that she just has nosy and obnoxious neighbors. Another explanation to the noises, her looking around, or even the table and camera shaking could all just very well be a pet trying to get her attention. As most people have pets, <laughs> cats frequently jump up on counters, knock stuff over. Cats and dogs can get into cabinets and slam them if they don't have a, you know, a soft close feature. And every pet owner knows the pain of trying to eat your favorite food only for your dog or cat or even your parrot or anything to knock everything over and act like they're absolutely starving, that you've never fed them before in your life. <laughs> These are all speculations, of course, but they're much more reasonable explanations than, oh my god, she's kidnapped and being forced to eat against her will, what are we going to do? While there is the possibility that she could be in an abusive relationship, from what little about her life that we've seen, um, and what we're able to see in her videos, I believe making those kind of theories could just end up causing her more harm than good. It's entirely probable that she has seen these comments on her videos about her potentially being in danger in the attention this kind of speculation was giving her and began to just roll with it as a way to boost her views on her channel. Like many others have stated before, it wouldn't make sense for a potential kidnapper to let their victim edit cryptic messages into their videos. Even her long hiatus could easily be explained in dozens of different completely safe ways, like her losing access to her recording equipment, moving homes, getting a new job, and just not feeling like eating that much seafood as frequently. Most likely, Kate is fine, but the internet would continue to spiral with conspiracies if they're capable of doing so. Instead of stalking down someone, I encourage everybody to research and donate to victim advocacy groups that work hard to help real victims of crimes like kidnapping and other abuses. The more local the advocacy group that you work with, the more likely that you can help real change to those in need. If you liked this video, please remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. This video, like all of my content, is brought to you by Patreon, so thank you so much to Nick, Ashley, Ippo, and Chrome for subscribing. If you want to support me on Patreon, check out the link in the description to your start as little as $1 a month. And with that, this is Minji signing off. Until next time. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I 
don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. I can't move on till I let go. I feel so lost, never at home. Need to be strong, every breath home. Cause I can't move on till I let go.